Thanks for the introduction. Uh, so the idea of this project came up already some years ago, and it started at the BOSS conference in 2012. And back then, Amis Afghan presented um, as a cloud man, and he, uh, the, the title of his talk was Zero to a Bioinformatics Analysis Platform in Four Minutes. And within this talk, he presented his system Cloudman. And Cloudman is a system to generate a cluster on the cloud. So you can, everyone can access a cluster on the cloud. And it's pretty famous for setting up Galaxy on, on a cloud infrastructure. And he supports different cloud infrastructures, for example, the Amazon Web Services or OpenStack. And all the features of Cloudman um, are there to produce reproducible science. So he has private public cloud support within Cloudman. You can share your instance with collaborators. You can scale your cluster, meaning that you can add nodes. You can uh, store your data and you can relaunch your cluster later on. And the man behind Cloudman, as I said, is Anis Afghan, currently working at the Johns Hopkins University and also affiliated with the Ruta Boscovich Institute in Zagreb. And also in 20, oh no, there's uh, also the improvements of Cloudman. Um, it's really amazing what he did the last years. Uh, Cloudman is now used in many cloud infrastructures. I said it's uh, used in the Amazon Web Services, also in the Australian Research Cloud Nectar since 2012. And there is also a big uh, project coming up in the US called the Jetstream Cloud and uh, Cloudman is used there as well, and he's also involved in a H2020 project with Cloudman. So really amazing was what he's doing with that. And it's also possible now to deploy your own version of Galaxy on the cloud, and for that he, he there's, uh, it's all on GitHub, it's an Ansible playbook, and you can build your images with Packer for different uh, infrastructures. Okay, that was Cloudman, and also at BOSC 2012, I presented our system, um, called Cloud Gene. And Cloud Gene is a, is a system to improve the usability of Hadoop, one of these known unknowns, what we heard today. Um, and what we, what we developed is a graphical execution platform for Hadoop. And normally Hadoop is executed on the command line and with this system, Cloud Gene, you can integrate your Hadoop programs into our platform. So we have a workflow language behind and uh, YAML configuration files and you can combine different programs to a workflow and integrate that. And what we also did back then in 2012 was we, we were setting up clusters in the cloud as well, similar to Cloudman. And the people behind uh, Cloud Gene, uh, it's Lucas Foro and me and from the Medical University in Innsbruck. Um, now in 2015, we moved a bit our direction for Cloud Gene. We moved from a general workflow system where you integrate different programs into one platform into a software as a service platform. So that means th we, we provide dedicated services for a given workflow and we have already two services up and running and I will show you in a minute uh, about, I will tell you a bit of, about these services in a minute. So what we also improved is that we are now supporting the complete Hadoop Beyond stack with Apache, uh, with Cloud Gene. That means that you can include not only your MapReduce programs, but also Apache Spark or Apache Storm projects into Cloud Gene. And it's also a nice feature what we are now doing is that we are not limited to Hadoop anymore. So you can combine a workflow uh, build of Hadoop, Apache PIC, which is a, a language for Hadoop, command line programs are into one workflow. And we are doing the, the file staging, meaning that uh, when a file is coming from the HDFS, from the Hadoop file system, it's going to the local file system. This is all done automatically by Cloud Gene. So what we have seen in 2012 is that we have some things in common, Cloud Gene and Cloudman, but of course we are more in the Hadoop area and, and uh, Cloudman is especially famous for setting up Galaxy. But clustering the cloud is something we had in common. So after the conference, we had a beer and we decided, uh, yeah, let's work together and let's work on our ideas together. And finally, we were able to start our project in 2014 when Anis Afghan came back from the US for a year in, um, in Croatia. And the idea was just combine the projects, use the best of both, uh, both projects. So use Cloudman for setting up a cluster in the cloud and use Cloud Gene 
for Hadoop execution. So in this picture, as you can see, we have here Cloudman, and uh, and this is then setting up Hadoop on the cloud, and of course we can then set it up on Amazon and OpenStack. But the problem was back then is find a suitable use case for Hadoop MapReduce, and many many of you know that, and it's it was the problem in 2012, and maybe still the problem now. Why is Hadoop not that much used in in bioinformatics? And well, here in BioStars, someone says the real world use of Hadoop in bioinformatics is quite low, and that is really true. But I'm very excited to present you a use case we implemented the last years using Hadoop. And maybe some of you heard of that. It's called the Michigan Imputation Server. Uh, the Michigan Imputation Server is a, is a, a free service, free online service to impute your genotypes, so getting from your GVAS data to complete data. And we built a complete workflow, including the quality control of genotypes, the facing and the imputation uh, with Hadoop MapReduce. And this is a cooperation with the Center of Statistical Genetics at the University of Michigan with Gonzalo, Mike, and Christian, who are heavy, heavily involved in imputation. And this is, the, this is the site of the imputation server. It, it, now is run, it, it now runs since one year productive. And what we're doing there is basically uh, the scientist uploads the data to the imputation server. There we have the different reference panels, for example, the thousand genomes reference panel. Uh, we can impute the data and the, and, uh, the scientist gets the, um, uh, gets the data back. There are many more things what I can tell you about that, but uh, I only have limited time here. Um, interesting thing is this is the website from uh, this is the service website, imputation server, and as you can see, uh, we have quite nice numbers here. We, within one year, we imputed over 800,000 genomes. We have over 300 users, and uh, yeah, it's really nice, a really nice and good working system. And we are we are very happy uh, for this cooperation with the University of Michigan. And. Just some screenshots, uh, you can see you get feedback from the service, quality control, then we impute your data and when it's done you get an email and with a one-time password then you can download the, the data. So this is our one of our possible use case together with uh, Cloudman and um, also what I said before, our reports are also possible. This is our Markdown report directly integrated within the imputation server, you get a link. So. Sorry, how much time do I have left? Okay, so the, the benefits of this system, so what, what's the benefit using uh, Cloudman and CloudGene? So, of course, Cloudman is, is the, the, the easiest way to provide our service on private and public clouds. For example, on the imputation server. People can upload their data to our, to our system, but of course, sometimes they are not allowed to do. so. With Cloudman, they can now, or in the near future, set up a private cloud, install the imputation server there, and use that service for imputation. This is especially a point of data sensitivity. And what we also want to do is, and this is of course a similar idea like Galaxy, that we want to provide a best practices pipeline to everyone. The people from Michigan, they are really have a lot of experience with imputation and we can provide our best practices imputation pipeline to everyone. And one of the best things about using Cloudman is, when, is that we can reach a really wide user community. Uh, as I said in the beginning, Cloudman is used in the Nectar, in the Australian Research Cloud within the GVL. Uh, and also, as I said, the Jetstream Cloud, who is coming in 2015 as well. Uh, why CloudGene? Okay, uh, first, uh, it's well tested for Hadoop services. We provide a lot of features in the background, like, for example, user management. So, uh, of course, user can uh, register to our service. We provide a lot of admin dashboards. So, when we started this service, we have seen, okay, we need updates of our service and stuff like that. So, we have to, to block the queue in the background. We have to go under maintenance sometimes when it's not working. And that's all included in CloudGene. And, and so what, what we see the advantage of such a system like CloudGene is that 
when, when, when you want to provide a service, you don't have to do this every time. You can focus on the service implementation itself, but you can use the complete infrastructure, like all the admin dashboards, all the user management. It's always the same for each service. So you can, we can reuse this. And as I said before, service one is a Michigan imputation server. We also have a second uh, service up and running. It's the MTDNA server. It's running in, at our institute in Innsbruck, and it's a, a, a pipeline for mitochondrial DNA for detecting heteroplasmies and contamination in NGS data. It's currently in beta. And yeah, service three, we are currently working on different approaches, but there is nothing out right now. But maybe after this meeting, there's a, a new service coming. So to see the software stack again, uh, so we have CloudGene and CloudMan to set up the clouds. And on, on top of CloudGene, there are the different services, for example, the imputation server. So the current project status is that uh, we have Hadoop and CloudGene running uh, on CloudMan. It's fully distributed mode. Uh, you can run right now a work on Yarn example with, uh, with this complete setup. And we are currently working on uh, scaling of the cluster, so meaning adding different uh, several nodes to this system and to install the services as apps directly within CloudGene. And you, all the updates and some screenshots how to set it up at the moment are at this side, at the CloudMan services side. Uh, and yeah, I attended the, the code test yesterday and for to, to, to pro provide an easy way to test, our, to test our system, I built a Docker image for Hadoop and CloudChain. So, and I integrated one of our services, not the imputation server, but the MTDNA server. And yeah, I put it on, uh, on, the, on Docker Hub and you can just pull and try it out. And I also had a look at the Hadoop Galaxy adapter. This is a, a project from the CRS4 Institute of Sequencing Center in Italy. Luca Piredo is into this project. And Luca Piredo uh, provides a way to execute Hadoop programs directly in Galaxy. And for us, uh, I had a look into that and that would be, would be also a perfect fit for us. So if you're not want to set up your own service, you can just export our workflow and integrate it in Galaxy as well. But this is done, uh, this is work which has to be done. I just had a look at that. Really amazing work as well. So acknowledgements of called Cloudman, Anis Afghan and Davo doing a lot of great stuff with Cloudman, CloudChain, especially Lucas Borough is heav heavily involved in this project. And of course, our first use case, the Michigan imputation server, Gonzalo, Mike, and Christian. It's really great to work with, with these guys together. And last but not least, thanks to the boss. Th that's the reason we had the chance to, to set up this project and it's really nice. So thank you very much.